you suffer daily from chronic pain, you know it can be excruciating. So we're going to focus today on a treatment for that, and you won't have to use opioids. It involves the use of a spinal cord simulator. Joining us is local neurologist Dr. Chad Domingue to explain how this works. Thank you for joining us. Good afternoon. I miss you guys. You've been busy over two weeks. We have been very busy, but never too busy to focus on medical solutions to help people. So exactly what is a spinal cord simulator? I understand the technology is similar to a pacemaker. Explain how this works. As, as lame as I think we're all very familiar with a pacemaker. We think of our heart as an electrical device. And when the heart starts to fail, we implant an electrical device to keep the rhythm going. Our spinal system is no different. And what a spinal cord stimulator is, I'm holding one up here, is an actual electrical device, very similar to pacemaker technology. And we actually implant wires into the spinal cord and the wires submit, submit an electrical signal to the spinal cord to intercept the pain signal before it gets to the brain. I always tell my patients I'm, uh, I'm hot wiring God's computer. So I'm turning a painful sensation into a pleasant one. So explain, give me some examples, the type of chronic pains that some people may be experiencing and how this would be used to help those examples that you give. Yes, stimulators are excellent for nerve pain. Uh, neuropathy, someone has had a back or a neck surgery that still has a, a, what we call a radicular or a nerve type pain, uh, someone that had a traumatic nerve injury. It doesn't help like arthritic pain, so like mechanical aches and pains and those type of things. The thing that's interesting and I love about a stimulator is you get to try it out before you commit to surgery. So we put temporary wires into the spine. Uh, patients go home with a little device where they can actually talk to it, turn it up, turn it down, and it gives them a chance to experience what this device can do. After that trial, we pull these temporary wires out and then we implant the system if it makes a dramatic difference. So, you know, long story short, Liz, you're controlling pain with electricity versus oral opioids, medical marijuana, anti-inflammatories, and so forth. Yeah, and a lot of people don't want to have to use opioids. So when they hear something like this, um, explain who would be a good candidate for this and is it anything surgically related? H how would you literally do this? Yeah, so this is a this is a last ditch option, right? So this is someone that's failed physical therapy, medication, surgery, you know. So you don't you don't do this day one. Uh, but again, that nerve type pain, the burning, the stabbing, uh, the the diabetic neuropathy, someone that's failed the surgery. I've actually published a couple of medical journals on this. I actually did one where I made the uh, cover of the journal where I used it for headaches. So people with refractory headaches where I implanted these wires to modulate or change the headache signal uh, made a dramatic difference. Uh, but, in, but again, just want to emphasize, we're talking about burning, stabbing, nerve pain that has failed a multitude of other options. Because to your point, this is a surgical procedure. This is an implantable device. And what I tell my patients, if I was going to put a pacemaker in you, it is to save your life. If I'm going to put a stimulator in you, I want to see a dramatic difference. I want to see you walking better, sleeping better, taking less medication. I don't want to hear someone just say, I feel better. I want to see an actual difference in that patient. So, so far, obviously, this must be working. What's the recovery time and how can people learn more about this? Um, you can learn more, obviously, my social media, uh, Instagram, Dr. Chad, uh, my YouTube channels and my website. Um, spinal cord stimulation has been around since probably the mid to late 80s. So this is not new technology, uh, but very similar to iPhones. The technology has advanced. Uh, the actual surgical implant takes me probably about 20 minutes. You go home that day. Um, the recovery is a little difficult because of the device being implanted. You can't move or twist. Uh, but compared to major back surgeries and some of these other things you've I've discussed, uh, this is not a major surgery compared to those type of things. Okay, interesting stuff. And like you said, it does not involve opioids. And you would eventually take it out. And would the pain come back? Yeah, so you, you can leave this in. So when I put this in, my patients usually they have pain for life, right? I mean, that's why they're seeing me. Uh, but can you take it out? Yes, you can. And, and you know, this can be a temporary solution for nerve pain. Um, you can have the device in. And if someone, I had a young gentleman that had it uh, for several years. And eventually he got off of all his medicines and turned the device off. And his disease process went away and we took it out. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so it, it can be a short or a long-term solution for pain. Fascinating stuff. Thank you, Dr. Chad. Always appreciate it. Absolutely. Miss you guys. I'll hopefully see you soon.